Before starting with the AQL examples and tutorial, let me first make sure that you know where to look for the uh, actual uh, documentation. So this URL takes you to the latest uh, set of documents on AQL and from it there are two particular sections that I want to point out. One is the user's guide and in it on the chapter 9 here on advanced search options is the first introduction to AQL. There's also a reference documentation that you may find useful as well. Now when you look in the, in the web for AQL as Arial query language for curator, you're going to find a lot of documentation and developer works and a lot of examples besides the one we will cover uh, in this tutorial. Uh, I just want to make sure that you don't get confused with another AQL that we have in IBM, which is uh, annotation query language. Nothing to do with curator, that's with uh, another IBM product. These tutorials have been created in ve with very, very strong collaboration from Mutas Al Sayal from uh, IBM Poland. And what I'm going to be dis uh, discussing on AQL, uh, you can launch AQL queries from the network tab here in advanced search or from the log activity. We will start from the log activity as well. It is important to point out that uh, AQL can not only be launched from the console, as we will do in the tutorial, but also can be done via a command line interface uh, by SSH and into the uh, Curator uh, console, or by their uh, using the RESTful API, as we recently uh, did also with Mutas, uh, uh, a video that we uh, recently published. Let's get started. When you enter any uh, advanced search in here. Notice that the, ed, that the console actually helps you with the syntax and you can just select whichever you want or on the one that is selected if you click on the tab it's actually chosen for you. So if we do, if we want to select all the events so notice that as soon as you type the, the tool, the editor helps you uh, on it if we put here events and we want to select this option and then when you click search the search is actually uh, performed. Also notice that the advanced search is actually multi multi-line so if you drag on the on this corner and you, and, and you can actually uh, see how you can input because this could this AQL commands can be very lengthy as we will be developing on the on the tutorial here. One thing is that uh, you, if you are not aware of, of the fact that it's multi-line and let's say that you are doing a lot of copy paste, you may have uh, a preceding line of something that you've done before and you may get that the parser cannot parse the the actual command even though it looks good to you make sure that you expand the multi-line to make sure that you are not doing something above of it that is what is getting the parser confused. Also, because these uh, queries can be very lengthy and you don't want to be typing them over and over again, uh, you can do like you do with any other search in Curator. You can actually save it and you can select the name that you want to give to it. You can decide it to uh, share it with all the other uh, SOX operator. And you need to make sure that you select this option of uh, include my quick searches in order to make sure that it's going to show up under this tab. If you don't do that, then you can always access that by going into edit search and looking on that particular search from the actual um, uh, search criteria here. Also, as you can do with any search in Curator, is, uh, I want to make sure that you uh, remember that the results of it, you can actually have them export into a CSV or an XML file for uh, further uh, manipulation. You can select all from all the events, I'd use one the one for the last two days. 
as 24 hours minutes or you can select the start and stop time of the events of the search that you're actually doing in this particular case is from the events you can also use the limit to say well give me just the first five of those events I don't want them all to limit uh, to, to you know if, if the search is too long and you just want the the first sample of it you can use this uh, if you don't want all these fields, let's say that you only want destination IP and source IP, you replace the asterisks by you know the fields, uh, the columns that you want. For example, in this particular case, source IP and destination IP separated by a comma. If you want the results to be sorted by magnitude in descending order, but you add that that part of the command, and you can, if you want it in the reverse order, you can click here on the actual tab or you can modify the actual uh, search by putting uh, ASC for ascending you can also use the WHERE clause to actually specify that from the events I want only the ones that are magnitude 3 or higher and higher you can see it here and of course you can combine you know the attributes uh, on, on the search that you used before you can combine that with the between and and uh, statements and if you wanna from all the events you want only the ones that are related to the source IP but that's the way that you put it in between single quotes you put double quotes Generally, when you have like a spaces in between in, in the in the in the clause that you are uh, putting, or you have no non ASCII characters on it, but generally, this is like standard SQL. You use a single quote for this. You can combine different uh, parameters in the uh, where clause by separating them by n, and of course you can add the other uh, filters that we have been using before. If you want to limit the result to a CEDAR range, so the 256 uh, addresses of this uh, begin 169 to 54 2, then that, that's the syntax. You put uh, insider, put the, the, the cider, and then this is referred to the source IP and, uh, that you are doing the search, and you get that result. And when it makes sense, you can actually put the negated condition. So when it not, I mean, I want to exclude precisely that source IP side of range you can use the like modifier as well in this case we're we are looking for all the events where the username is role and in fact if we click into any one of these events we should find under the user ID field yeah, here it is uh, the, that uh, user ID what if we want to search for the user but we want to do an insensitive uh, a case non-sensitive uh, uh, search for the name so what we do is that we put the I as an insensitive like and then we specify the string in uppercase you can combine all those uh, filters by uh, grouping them between parentheses and using an and or logically as we see here and you can even have several of them so here we are selecting these three uh, columns that match that particular criteria. If you want to do a search for a text similar to what you do in a, in a quick filter option, well, that's the command. This, uh, the, the qualifier is text search, and then you put uh, the context and firewall. Make sure that when you use this, you put it uh, as the first statement, the text search uh, after the, the word clause. If you want to search for all the events that do have a username, that, that's one way of doing it. We say where, where username is not null, and here are the results.